I actually started my first business when I was six years old. And so I think I've kind of built up this habit for building something from scratch. Yes, I've never done something within shipping before of this magnitude, but I think the sort of habits and behaviors and practices of, of building something is, is what I'm familiar with. My name is Alicia Fredrickson. I'm the co-founder and CEO of a company called Seabound, and I'm 28 years old. Seabound is a climate tech company that builds carbon capture equipment specifically for ships. We're based in London. We've got six people full time at the moment. So we're tackling decarbonization for the shipping industry. Shipping is one of the last hard to abate sectors, which means that it doesn't yet have technological solutions to reduce its emissions. And so my main motivation is to find a way to tackle the climate crisis. And so I was looking for really big unsolved problems. And so shipping being one of the ones that we haven't yet addressed, which is why I felt like I could have the greatest impact there. I think the catalyst for me was actually a report in 2018 by the Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change, which talked about the difference between two degrees Celsius of warming and 1.5 degrees Celsius. And that to me clarified that climate is this absolutely enormous problem that's going to affect everyone around the world um, within a shockingly short time frame. And I think that the shortening of the time frame in that report was really what sort of sparked me to try to figure out what I could do about it. A lot of people often start with the solution and they sort of look for a problem for it to solve. We took more of a first principles approach, and I think that really helped us to build a strong foundation. We've raised about four and a half million dollars so far as a part of our seed round of fundraising. It was actually a relatively straightforward process for us. I think we were quite lucky. We got accepted into an accelerator called Y Combinator when we had an advanced idea. So we were very early on, but there was a lot of hype, I think, and, and opportunity that came with that program. And so we were able to concentrate our fundraising within just a few weeks time around the demo day of Y Combinator. And that's how we got started with our seed. We design compact carbon capture devices that we install on board big ships. And essentially what we do is pull the CO2 out of the exhaust that's coming out of the engine. We then store that CO2 on board, the ship carries it back to port, and then we offload and sell the CO2. And the CO2 will be turned into new products like fuels, or it'll be pumped underground. And then we actually share that CO2 revenue stream with the ship owner customers. At the moment, there's actually brand new regulation at a global scale within the shipping industry that requires ship owners to reduce the emissions for every single ship. And so that has been a really significant tailwind for our company because ship owners all around the world are trying to figure out how they're going to solve this problem. And there's no existing solutions at the moment. So that's been one of the big uh, drivers for us recently. Fundraising has afforded us to build two land-based prototypes so far, as well as to grow our team of engineers. And now what we're working on is our first ship-based pilots, fueled by the money that we raised from our seed round. We don't have revenue yet, we're still at the prototyping stage, but we do have letters of intent from seven different big ship owners, and now pilot partnerships that we're developing. Building a startup is a difficult thing to do, and it takes a lot of dedication and, and determination. And sometimes it's easy to get caught up in the stresses or the things that are challenging, but we've been able to figure out all of our different problems over time so far. So I'm hoping to be building and running this company for, for many years to come. Thank you.